Though the gaming bill was passed in Parliament, there may still be challenges regarding compliance and regulation of the web shop industry. But government officials maintain the move is in the best interest of the Bahamian people. That story tonight from Siesca Adderley. Principal at DSS Financial Corporate Service Provider Dave Smith says the government needs to outline a clear way forward now that the gaming bill has been passed. As it stands, Smith believes the legislation still poses some challenges. It's a little bit challenging to understand how um, you're going to separate the, the economic benefit of what was, you know, what may have been achieved previously prior to the act, and then how is that going to be? Um, that we're going forward. So I think it will pose some challenges. Um, certainly the BACO as an organization I believe will need to provide certain um, training and technical assistance in order to ensure that uh, the right standards are, are actually carried out and adhered to it. As the gaming bill moves closer to becoming law, Smith, who is a compliance officer and former regulator, called the need for compliance officers critical. I do know that certainly in the role as a former um, regulator, a lot of reliance was placed on compliance officers to ensure institutions were following guidelines and laws and rules that were enacted. But Tourism's legal department senior manager Vivian Dean expressed confidence that under these regulations, integrity will be maintained. She affirmed the government government stands to enforce a regulated industry. Everything we have thought about every aspect that can come up and we have entrenched it into the legislation. I think we have a very sound legislation. Both Smith and Dean were speaking at the recent Bahamas Association of Compliance Officers workshop which provided detailed aspects of the financial services sector on coming regulations and the changing demands in the industry. Siaska Adderley, ZNS Network News.